so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you and I thought I would do sort of a playing around with makeup type thing basically I'm not entirely sure this is going to work but my idea is that I'm going to do a sort of matte smoky eye entirely using the Naked Basics palette I'm pretty sure that the least used color in this palette for most people is the black unless you use it as an eyeliner or to set eyeliner even so it's probably the least used color because black is pretty intense I use all five of the other colors pretty frequently and adore them but I thought I would try and find a good use for this and I think if I can achieve a pretty good smoky eye with this palette that will prove that it is a really great travel palette because it is super super versatile so yeah I'm going to be doing basically a black to brown smoky eye. I'm also going to do a fairly neutral lip. I am trying out the products from the Marc Jacobs birthday kit. So I have the Marc Jacobs highliner gel crayon in blacker as well as the Kiss Kiss Bang Bang Lamarck lipstick which is a really pretty pink nude color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed through my base routine as I usually do and I will get back to you when I get to color stuff. Also, yes, I do have a bandage on this finger. I have no idea how I cut it, but um, it developed a cut, so bandage. I feel like I say this more often than I don't say it. I'm not entirely sure my eyebrows went on as well as I wanted them to, but we're just gonna deal with it. So next I'm gonna prime my eyes. I'm gonna use my I Love Stage uh, Eyeshadow Base by Essence. And all right, now with the Naked Palette, I'm going to start with uh, Block of Shame which is the pinker, neutrally, skin tone-like shade. And I'm going to put that above the crease and under the brow bone. And now I'm going to go with my fluffy brush and Naked 2, which is the lighter contour shade. And I'm going to put that above the crease to start my gradient. And basically what I'm going to be doing with this look is I'm going to be going darker or start with lighter colors and then work darker onto the lid. I'm going to go one step deeper. We're going to go with faint which is this neutrally brown color. I'm going to go on a it's still a fluffy brush, but it's a bit smaller and it's got a bit more sort of movement to it, so it's gonna fit into my crease better. And that's where I'm gonna put this, is right into my crease. And I would focus this more on the outer corner or outer half than on the inner half, uh, just so it doesn't muddy up your inner corner too much. And 
and I think I've said this before in other smoky eye tutorials but as always with smoky eyes the secret is blending you blend until you think you're done and then you blend a little more basically and just make sure everything stays blended we can go super softly over with the lighter color again no more product but just to soften things up and then the top edge and then we're gonna go in with the almost black crave it's not quite black it is more of a brown black but it's pretty close i'm going to be using a pretty small brush just so this goes on pretty nicely and make sure to tap this off you can build it up but if it starts getting all over your face then it's never going to come off and you're gonna look like you have death basically you're gonna look like you're dead so we're just gonna pat that onto the eyelid it's a very pigmented color and try to get it up to the crease but not in the crease because that will start to muddy things we'll blend again in a minute I'm not going quite to the inner corner because I am going to highlight and now blend back up with the medium brown color and the lighter color again I haven't used any more product on these brushes I am just blending and now to highlight I'm gonna go back with the same brush I used walk of shame on I'm gonna use Venus I'm going to pop that under the arch of my brows and then on the inner corner as well. Alright, so that is the eyeshadow portion done. Pretty easy. Looks pretty good. If you want, you can add liquid liner, which I'm going to do now. So I'm just going to use the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and draw a tiny little wing. Alright, so that went on way better than I usually anticipate my liquid eyeliner, eyeliner going on. I'm also going to tight line and line my waterline with the Marc Jacobs highlighter. I can only do the tight line about halfway, but if you can go further, do go ahead. And now before I do my mascara, I'm just going to contour quickly. I'm using the Anastasia Contour Kit and Fawn, so the cool color in the middle. I'm just going to use my Exo Beauty Bronzer brush to Blend that out a little better. So on a fan brush, I'm just going to use my e.l.f. pink Tastic highlighter today. I think they technically call it a baked blush, but it is most definitely a highlighter. So now for my mascara, I'm going to use my L'Oreal um, telescopic carbon black I think everything is completely worn off but it's kind of nearing the end of its life and I want to give it a little more use before it's gone and bottom lashes
Ta -da! And now for lips, like I said, I'm using Kiss Kiss Bang Bang La Marc Lipstick from Marc Jacobs. This is the mini that comes in the Sephora birthday gift. And as you can probably see, that is a fairly neutral but also kind of bright pink. I think a lot of people are really going to like it because it's pretty neutral and kind of like a toned down pink. So it's easy to wear if you're the type of person who likes neutrals. This would just sort of be a bright color for you. But if you like brights, this is sort of like a neutral for you. So yeah, that is the look for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want a review on the Marc Jacobs mini things. I would be happy to do that if you're interested, but if no one's interested, I probably won't. So do let me know down below if you do want to see a review on that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and like tutorials. Let me know if there are any types of tutorials you want to see down below. Subscribe to see more videos from me and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to have a review video for you. As you can probably tell from the title, I'm going to be reviewing the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This is what the bottle looks like. So this is going to be a pretty short video because I probably don't have too much.